Brothers and sisters, we understand the whole meaning of mid hoyer. Okay, so we are on pay hey. The line begins, it's just above the middle of the page. Um, it begins with the word mechulokim. Mechulokim. Yeah. <clears throat> Everything is contained in the brevity of the mission. As we discussed, the mission presents a halacha. Disconnected. Sounds like it. Welcome to IDT Connect. Please enter your conference ID followed by the pound key. Sorry, we got disconnected. Okay. So Kitsu is brevity? Yeah. <clears throat> so this brevity of the Mishnah does not leave anything out, except it, it conglomerates everything in brief. And what is it that it contains? All the reasons behind this Haloch. And as we pointed out, Reasons means that which actually const- constitutes the halacha, which makes the halacha what it is. It is not just a means to, to discovering it, finding it from amongst other, uh, other possibilities, but identifying what the halacha is and why it is so. And all that is contained in the Mishnah. Rakshu behelam. Except that that whole complement aspect of the halacha is contained in the Mishnah Behelem. Behelem means in a subtle and a concealed way. It does not come forth, it does not speak for itself. That's me Behelem. But it definitely is there. This is the important Indian that all the richness that goes into the halacha is contained in the Mishnah. But, but it does not speak for itself. The Huiyinyan, and this is the principle of Miyud Ho'ir, of reduction of, of the Oir. Let me elaborate a little bit. The Him Hayois, for all those Shayesh Nebehelem. Even though that the oil is present, behelem, but ain't a mayor begin. He does not show show up begin in an expressed in an unrevealed manner, and that means it's mute umashu who begin, and that which that comes does come begin. That amount of the oil that does come be healy. Can find a place? Okay. Again, we're trying to to understand the Rebbe's language, what the Rebbe is trying to explain to us. Masha who be healy, that which is be the oil as with that is begilly in the Mishnah. Ho bivchinas miyud ho'ir. What is bivchinas? Why not bivchinas miyud ho'ir? Not bivchinas miyud ho'ir? 
So the Rebbe, these are very nuanced expressions. There is Gilui in the Mishnah, in Gilui of Oyer. In other words, you could tell that, that there is much con- content in this halacha. And that, that this content connects the halacha to, to a higher principle. However, it is there, Bivchinas mid oir, it is there in a manner that the oir is being reduced and is being presented in a very, in a very, uh, non expressive manner. Just elusive. Elusive means alluding to the union rather than expressing it. Bivchinus Mir Ho'er is saying this, that the focus on the mission is that we should know the halacha. <coughs> when you know the mission, you know the halacha. There is no emphasis to understand, you know, behind this halacha there's a whole, there's a whole, um, there's a whole process, there are whole many, many principles, it doesn't, it doesn't allude to that. So that which is there, you don't see Bivchinus Mir Ho'er is in the manner of of reducing the oil and not, not introducing the oil that it should interfere with your knowing the halach, so to speak. As we just now finished saying, why is it bifhinas mid hoir? It is bifhinas mid hoir so that you would have the halacha sharply defined. Instead of being distracted, the oil is very, is very, very enticing. If you start to going into the oil, you forget the, 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 the principle of the halacha. Why the light wouldn't just make the halacha obvious? It would distract you from it. Yeah, it would distract you from it. Not to show me, it would contradict the halacha. But it would distract it from focusing and knowing precisely the halacha. Well, in the in the halacha also, is it miyud or? That's what we're saying that that the halacha is presented in the Bibchinas in a miyud ho'er manner. Miyud ho'er manner. So that you would not take away the, the, the your, your focus in, 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 uh, from the halacha, but it, uh, but it is therefore con- it, it definitely contained there. Tzitzis, Tzitzis, is represent has has in a certain way has a numerical value of tariak tofresh you give it, it reminds you of all the mitzvahs. How does it remind you of all the mitzvahs? The word tzitzis itself has certain letters. That's the, the the numerical value of the letters. In addition to that, there are eight strength, strengths, and there are a certain number of knots. Altogether, it adds up to tariak. So, so, uh, 613. So when you learn about how to put in chichis, you have to learn eight things. If you start getting involved in, in what they stand for, you lose track of what you're learning in practice, in practical, in a practical way. It means, it all, almost states that it's unimportant exactly how you made it easy, but remember what it stands for. This is what happens when you make when you make the, the an emphasis on, on the on the oil. Join the heart. That's right. Mm-hmm. This is why it's Bibhinas Miyud Hoyer. I'll talk to you later. First learn the halach. And first do it as a matter of fact. Interesting. I mean, 
halacha is, let's say, the correct action or correct path. So you may think more light would just guide a person along that path. But here, they no, it's, it's, it's they go in different directions. It's just a when the rabbi it said we should go out and plant film on people. So the whole the whole world, you know, the smart Alex, always looking something to to contradict the Rebbe. Wow, you're telling him you plant film. You don't even tell him what's in that film. Why don't they know what they're doing? First prepare them. First take them to the mikveh. Well, wash nagelvaser. You plant film on somebody who didn't wash nagelvaser. What kind of thing is this? I had an experience like this in my office. I came to the office, I was, I was out for a different, different mission. I came to the office, and there were a couple of, um, of Yelksi Shio Bokhim. And they said, Oh, you're here. Let's see if you can plant film on these guys, the couple of Israeli guys. In a million years, you're not going to film on these, on these guys. They were two. Israeli. So I didn't say anything. It didn't take more than two, three days. The guys are up in my office and putting on film. So this guy who was who was teasing me like that came in and says, he says, what's going on over here? So he says to the guys, but you but you don't have but you don't have the teachers. <laughs> so I said, shut up, just get out of here. How, how did it happen? How did it happen? I came down to their office, and I said hello, and I stopped and I talked to them a little bit, and I said, you know, real idea, during lunchtime, they come up with them, and they came, of course. What happened? What? What happened? He, he was so sure that they wouldn't put on. What? what? Because they, their whole approach is to put you down. You know, I got something that you don't have. Okay, and how? And how? Our approach is, there is something that you that is yours, and I have it to give it to you. How was, how was it communicated? If you approach somebody as an equal, don't put him down. I know something that you don't. He'll say, oh, what is it? Tell me what it is. I'm trying to understand how, which kind of phrases is it? I don't remember what I said to him. Not after that. Everybody has, has a different point. You know that there is a wonderful thing to do. That, that to do it, it's a, it's a terrible thing, and, and uh, I'd like to offer it to you. To the, to the contrary, I mean, I'm... Well, how, how the, it doesn't no, work. How, how would uh, they... Uh, it doesn't work. I'll tell you why it doesn't work. Very simple. You know, you're a Jew. You don't even know what Jewing, being a Jew means. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you. That's oh, great. I was flying in one of these trips lately, and next to me was sitting, uh, sitting a guy. We started talking, he knows a lot, he, you know, about either guy, but practice. So we came off the plane, and uh, from my wife, I, I, I rearranged that we would have a, 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 a long, very long walk. So we had chairs, people who were, were taking us, you know, running us like so I said to the lady who was saying, I want to stop, I'm going to put on film on, on this guy. She said, sure. She just stopped in it and waited. And then I came up in. And there were a whole bunch of film people between me waiting. And I put on film on him. Right in the middle of the of the uh, big thoroughfare over there with him. No, no problem. No problem. He was very happy. He was thank thankful. 
course, I had, you know, the trip itself we talked about. But in any case, all right, let's. See what happens when you go into the oil? You forget about what you're doing. <laughs> but in both cases, you had the, occasion, the, the opportunity of introducing yourself and talking about uh, Torah and Yiddish kind. Right? No. No? no but this, I, on the plane, yes. But uh, but over there, I didn't have a chance. I didn't, uh, yes, I come, but in the middle of work, I said, during lunchtime, they don't give up the time. <coughs> This is that bivchinas miud hoir. You, you, there, there is an, the element of, of, of reducing of the oir in order to p- put the focus and emphasis on the halacha. V'chein hu b'moichin u'midas. This is the whole discussion is for this purpose. This is what takes place between moichin and midas. Sheha midois. Midis means, I'll be respectful of but midis means measurements. Measurements means that you call, you draw from a certain concept something very narrowly measured, very narrowly defined, that which you, which you can, which the heart, which is not involved in, in great speculation and great. Uh, um, a, a depth, just to be able to relate to it directly. This is midas. Midas means give to doctor, help him out. This is defined defined in a very narrow way. This the, behind this midas there is a meichin. What is the meichin? The meichin is that all Eden are one people, and we're all obligated, we're all responsible for each other. And uh, like we learn in Tanya now, you get to Dokya, you actually, you're actually doing what the Rebbeshir is doing, and all kinds of different things that go into, into this. Mida is, is where this is narrowed down to, to make it a Mida, make it a measured statement. Sheha Mida is Hein Bibchinas Miud Ho'er Ve'agili. The Mida is are in a Miud Ho'er manner <coughs> in a relation relative to the Moichin. In the Moichin there is Gilui and, and, and Ribui Oir. Ribui Oir means an increase of Oir. In Moichin you're trying to actually relate to the source and to the real thing. Whereas in Mida is you translate it in a, on, on a practical level. Or on a, on a conclusive w- level. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. also doesn't mean that. Mitis also doesn't mean uh, to have a feel for it. Yeah. Immediately you have a feel for it. I don't want to. You meet up with a friend, a very close friend, that you have a lot of feeling for. for. This close friend shares with you many experiences. How you were in Yeshiva together, whatever it is, many experiences and many discussions. When you meet up with him after a long break, 
there's a, a special draw, a special feeling of, of joy of meeting up with him. When you have this initial meet, if you are going to go right away and say, remember what happened in Yeshiva and that and that time, you'll lose that feeling. Even though this is the, the background for your feeling. But you're losing. And you, you won't even want to go there. What is, what is the manner that people greet each other? They hug. A hug? This is not what we did to, to 20 years ago when we were talking to each other. This hug represents the, 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 the kitzer of the whole friendship. But if, but if you are going to start discussing what is the background of our friendship, then the power of this hug will be, will be uh, 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 <coughs> will dissipate. Although this is Oyer. Oyer is, is talking about the origin, the source. But the Oyer cannot come and be in full, in full glory when you are talking uh, on the lower level. And this is Meichin and Midos. Midos <coughs> is also oil, but it's Miud oil. It is reduction. Between us, Miud oil, you reduce the oil. They emphasize the oil. They emphasize the oil. They emphasize mean make less importance of the oil rather than what the what the conclusion what the media is uh, because I am um, is always that it's objective I'm not personally involved and midas means that I get I get I get excited it's something yeah. personal it's my thing so now we're learning that this part is on the lower level the personal thing this is on the lower level yes The reason there is such a thing as Moichin and Midas, and there is Oyer, is that these Moichin, these Yonim, are, pre- are created by Hashem. There's a godly element in it. If we didn't have the godly truth about it, it would be no, there would be no Oyer. So then when it comes down to your personal thing, it's lower. That's what you said. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll have to interrupt.